she was missing that night. And then everyone clicked off the video because what the hell was that? Also, where the hell is Salmon Max? Surprise, I switched back to Until Then. To be honest, I want to finish this game before I finish Salmon Max, because playing these two games at the same time, I want Salmon Max to be the last one before I start a new game. <laughs> so previously on Until Then, Rydell was trying to get Mark and Kathy to practice acting for his movie, and Mark was subconsciously remembering the previous timeline where Kathy died and bringing that up in the acting. Like, bringing up that emotion. So there was some inkling that some part of him does remember. We're in chapter three right now. Hey man, we on for tomorrow? Yeah, the place shouldn't be too busy. You know how to get there? Yep. Alright, thanks again for coming with me. Of course, man. I might even get a new profile photo out of it. I knew you had ulterior motives. Called it. I'm here now. Oh, crap. I'll be there in a bit. No rush. I bet this will look great on camera. Nice. Okay, so we're doing more mo more movie stuff with Rydell. It really is a hidden gem. A laser pointing to an open box. No, kid, that won't burn it. Lovely little pixel art town. Alright. Yep, we are on a mountain, pretty much. Oh boy, Louise is here. Yeah, I should probably say hi. Hey, Louise. Oh, Mark. Fancy running into you here. May I join you for a bit? What for? I'm just waiting for my friend. He should be here in a bit. Hmm. So, uh, what are you working on? Research. About what? I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh, sorry. I'm also sorry about the report again. Is that all? Uh, and uh, I'm also sorry about the commotion yesterday. And things in general. I'm sorry, in general. I'm your class president, Mark. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that your actions are representative of our class. I, I understand. It feels like I've given you too many chances already. This behavior cannot continue. Hey, Mark. There you are. With Rydell, uh, this is Louise. It seems like Mark and Louise are more of acquaintances. They're not really on friendly terms. Like, she's the class president, and they don't really... <laughs> Louise Rydell. Nice to meet you. Good afternoon. So, uh, what brings you here? Research. I see. Is it going well? It's going. That's great. This place, the place is really nice, man. Yeah, it's almost romantic. Huh? It's in the air. I'm just saying, you're probably gonna get great shots out of this, great shots of this place. Yeah, I'm getting inspired already. I might take some test shots over there for a bit. You know, give you guys some time. Mark was just in the middle of another apology for his misconduct. Huh, okay. I'll leave you guys to it then. Good luck, man. Are we gonna be on camera? <laughs> uh, anyway, I really am sorry, Louise. I don't mean to cause you any trouble. I've been selfish. Apologies only do so much. How did you make it up to the poor transfer student you terrorized? We worked something out with the principal. But Louise, about that. Something strange happened. Yes, crashing into someone on their first day is quite strange. No, I mean, you remember what we talked about? With Polly? It happened again. Or something like it. I just... I felt something. What was it? I... I saw something. It was... a truck. And then... When I first saw her, I mean, Nicole... It felt like... Hold on. Start from the beginning. Oh yeah, let's talk it out. 
getting this deja vu. Sorry to suddenly dump all that on you. <laughs> the time of day has changed. <laughs> time has moved significantly later in the day since I started talking. <laughs> it's a lot of information to process at once, but I thought you might be interested. These memories, what could they mean? You think it's something big? How is it connected? Connected to what? What else does she know? Rydell, did you get did you get good shots? <laughs> I think we're about to have our mind blown. It's still happening. A laser. Working fine? No, it's not the laser. It's the pattern. It shouldn't look like that. So you have the strand of string on the laser. So here, it blocks the light in the middle. Looks good to me. No, it's supposed to look like this. Hmm. Bands of light spread across horizontally? That doesn't seem right to me. It does seem counterintuitive, I get that, but why is it like that anyway? Well, do you actually want me to explain? Maybe not. <laughs> I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> now do you see what's wrong? It's not the pattern you're expecting. It's not a pattern that should even be possible in the first place. I see. What's worse is that I've only observed this here. At home, school, elsewhere, the pattern is normal. So it only happens here? That's hard to say, but it's certainly the only place I know of. I wonder... Why this place? I'm not sure. It's otherwise entirely normal as far as I know. pH levels are okay. Precipitation, standard. Do you get the sense that something bad is happening? I try not to jump to conclusions without evidence. So this isn't evidence? It isn't conclusive evidence. Right. Something just doesn't feel right lately. I agree. This all seems rather beyond our comprehension at the moment. Hey, we should be careful with this research thing, okay? I just hope it's nothing bad. Sorry, we? Uh, yeah. I want to get to the bottom of this, too. But I won't stop you. Good. Friends? I wouldn't say that. Partners. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Stop talking. Yep. Don't think this absolves you of your previous transgressions. Of course. I'll do my best to make it up to you. Hey, uh, man. Sorry to interrupt this thing, but it's about time to head out, I think. Oh, dang. I didn't notice. Of course you wouldn't. Hey, wait, Rydell. What do you know about this place? What do you mean? It's known for looking good on camera. I know that much. But what else do you know about it? Would you know anything about its history or origins? Well, this modest cafe, I know it's run by a couple. They just wanted a peaceful place near the outskirts of the city. Like a getaway. A getaway, that's one word for it. But it became more like a refugee. A refuge. Became a refuge. Since it's out here, a lot of ruling victims, they tried to take this route into the city for evacuation. That is quite the journey. The main roads were destroyed, and the couple, they helped as much as they can. 
offered food, water, a place to nap. Right at this cafe. That's really kind of them. So that's how this place became popular. People came to help out. That's right. It's a lot less busy now and fancier. Since they started to open the main roads. That's a good thing, right? The victims are safer? I don't know if safer is the right word for it. Listen, we really have to go. Going to the fair? Yep. Did Mark mention it? Oh. No, I, I just assumed. You want to come with us? Me? Louise just happened to guess we were going to the fair. I mean, I guess that's normal. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. The fair is a classic. Thank you, but I'd rather continue my research tonight. I admire the dedication. Mark, I'm forming a hypothesis. You'll hear from me soon. Wow. Looking forward to it, Louise. Good luck. Aren't you gonna at least, you know... What? <laughs> what do you think's happening, Rydell? Never mind. Kath is waiting. I know, I know. Hey, you know what? Even if I still abandon Kathy at this fair to hang out with Nicole, at least Rydell will be here. At least he won't be busy with his movie. Like, at least... <laughs> at least Kathy won't be alone at the fair, being all sad and whatnot. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I didn't know she'd be there. Ho-ho! Here come the airheads. Kath. She'll never believe what Mark just did. Do tell. Hey. Promo. You know how he said he'd come with me on my location scout? Well, here I was, thinking he offered out of the goodness of his heart, which I did, but what what did I find? Him and Louise. Louise? Louise. I didn't know she was going to be there. You were talking for an awfully long time. I was apologizing. <laughs> Again, because she hates my guts. She did say something about misconduct. A little spicy if I say so myself. What the? It's literally misconduct. A wrongdoing. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you. First the new girl, and now this? Mark, what is the meaning of this? Oh, joke all you want. It was a coincidence and you know it. Luis is even angrier at me than before. To be fair, you have been getting in trouble a lot lately. Also, I think the music is clipped in the background. I think this fairground music is clipping. You have been getting in trouble a lot lately. Not on purpose. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you're down here with us when you can be on another date. Oh, come on. We're gonna miss the fair. Hold on. We can't proceed without appropriate headgear. Why is the music so distorted here? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to jam to distorted fairground music. Meow? I don't know about this, Kath. Jaggy might see me in this. Oh, stop. And that's not how I talk. <laughs> alright, alright. Cat headband every year's a classic, after all. As long as I get a cool animal plush. All animals are cool. Come on. Well, here we go. To the fair. Look, Rydell. It's that same woman who banned you here. Oh shit, you're right. Think she recognizes me? She'll recognize that aim. Oh, c <laughs> come on, time for a reminder. Ooh, also, in the previous timeline, before we went to the fair, Mark was in a creepy hospital scene where some old lady yelled, This is your fault! And it was real, it was real disturbing. So this will be different. Mark won't be agitated with all that.
I won't be hallucinating all that. Mm-hmm. Now that is a classic. Classic gone. <laughs> classic back. <laughs> Three out of four, baby. Not bad, not bad. And that was just a warm-up. Bet I could do better. Ho ho, a challenger. This should be a piece of cake. Let's go. Whoa. Hmm. Well, there you have it. A new champion rises from the ashes of defeat. That was a fluke. Face it, man. You've lost your edge. Kath, avenge me. Well, uh... The last time I threw a dart, I nearly injured someone's eye. Good point. Pun intended. Hey, do I recognize you from somewhere? Uh... No? He just has one of those faces. Well, time to go! <laughs> yeah, now we can actually play these fairground games without hallucinating or something. Let's do this one together. Gross. Okay. We got this. Still got it. Team. Puddle up. I have no idea where I went. That was crazy fast. We can't give up. Got any good guesses? Wait. Look over here. What? I don't see anything. <laughs> the sunlight casts. Oh wow, the light. You're a genius, right, Al? The, the ball! I can see it! And now the light's gone. The light's gone? Excuse me? We're totally at a loss here, man. I have absolutely no idea where it is. That's right. No cheating happened. Mark, you do the honors. Totally a wild guess here, guys. But I think it's in the... the... the left cup. You don't sound so sure there. Oh my god, this is so tense. Heart's racing. Congratulations. Hell yeah! We can exploit this! One try only. That's not fair. Boo-hoo. Here's your prize, cheaters. <laughs> don't come back here. Uh-oh. Yet another ban. <laughs> 'Twas funny. Excuse me, you guys are from LIS, right? Do you know Ryan Soriano? Oh yeah, a leopard. The one who really wants to be the MVP this year. Yes, have you seen him around? We haven't seen him here. No, I don't think so. And we're not really close or even classmates, so... Damn it, okay, if you see him, tell him my shift ended hours ago. I want to go home, man. <laughs> Uh, sure. Will do. Yeah, I'm sure he's just slacking off. I didn't even know he works here. Ryan isn't our classmate in this timeline. Ain't that something. Rydell taking pictures. Remember, bo remember boys, gotta get it completely in the box. I... Don't understand this game. Get it started, Rydell. Bro, he's getting no points. Oh, he got six. Why is this so hard? It's all in the flick of the wrist, my friend. Let's get it, let's get it, hi. Hey. I'm probably fast forwarding this. Uh-huh. More like, more like the flick of fortune. This game is rigged. Man, you're literally using your own coins. My turn. Watch and learn. Damn, okay. Eight. Twelve. Nice. Get big points over here. Damn. I 
am a master. <laughs> it's like he leveled up because he has a girlfriend now. You mean two girlfriends? That's two levels up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Louise is not my girlfriend. We're not even friends in this timeline. G49. Ugh, I have a 49. That's close enough, right? Not how this works, unfortunately. Hey, save the photo for when I win. B9? Doesn't look likely, I'm afraid. Damn, why do I even bother? Because it's fun. It's funner when you win. <laughs> and here I thought our friendship was enough. Look who's getting sappy. I take it back. Hey, I'm allowed to appreciate my friends. Damn right you are. We're the best. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing could ruin this. Listen, I know I've kind of been in a slump. I had big plans for myself, and I haven't been able to make them happen. Hey man, it'll come. It's been frustrating. I feel like I'm not living up to myself. Hey, don't be like that. But I'm alright. I'm glad we're here together. Having fun. Yeah, having fun. How have you been, Mark? After, you know... Better, I think. It felt good to get things off my chest. Now I'm just trying not to think about it too much. It's... I don't even know. But yeah, also in the last video of this, uh, Mark brought up to his friends how his mom disappeared or died. I don't remember if Mark's parents died or not. But... Yeah, Mark just brought up how much he misses his mom to his friends there. I think they're probably dead. I mean, there was that plane crash, right? Oh, right. Yeah, there was that... There was that entire sequence of... There was that entire flashback sequence of his his mom was on a plane, and that plane crashed, and him and his dad were trying to, like, find that missing plane. Yeah, the plane went missing. And so, yeah, his mom is, like, missing. So, like, that, that was the tragedy <laughs> that he brought up to them. <laughs> that Mark brought up to his friends. Like, why... <laughs> why that's been, like, that's been weighing on him. It's... I don't even know. So much has been confusing. Even what happened with Nicole. What happened with Nicole? I've been getting these visions. I don't know what to call them. Hallucinations? Hallucinations? Whoa. Are you okay, man? That sounds serious. It's hard to explain. It's like deja vu. And when I saw her, what did you see? It, it's really weird. You guys must think I'm crazy. Nah. No. Stressed, maybe. You sure you alright, though? I don't know if I can say all right, actually, exactly. That's no good. It's weird to say, but... I've been feeling a little strange, too. Yeah? I don't know how to explain it, either. Just a sense of things being off. Like, I keep forgetting something I need to do or fix. It's concerning. Yeah. I really hope it isn't anything serious. You and me both. How about you, Kath? Me? Things have been weird. But I don't think I've had any visions. Or omens of misfortune. Yeah, but I mean, what's been going on in your life? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Same old. Yep. Just go to school and go home. Unless I'm out with you guys, of course. Man, I wish life were that simple. You make us feel like we're already in our 40s. I've been thinking of buying a Lambo, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's why I have you guys. To shake things up in my oh-so-boring life. That's a tall order. Yep. So now you have to keep things spicy. Are you up to the task, Mark? I guess so. That's right. Our first mission is to go do something fun. Break's over, and the rest of the fair awaits us. Where to, Miss Portillo? In all our years here, there's one thing we've yet to try. If you mean what I think you mean. It's a hard pass for me. Uh-oh. It's too early to end the night here. What better way to spice up our lives? Maybe we can do that without risking death? Nuh-uh. It's time to face our fears once and for all. To the Ferris wheel! <laughs> You're cringing. I am not. <laughs> yeah, things are rough for Kathy at home, as we've seen before in this playthrough. <laughs> Look at that thing shaking. Kath, are you sure you want to do this? 100%. It was nice knowing you guys. At least we got to have one last fun day together. How lighten up. We're not going to die. These things are safe as can be. Doubt it. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Wait, is that... It's her. 
I'm just looking out for our health and safety. Mark's with me. Aren't you, Mark? Mark? Should I say hi? Dude. That's her, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you gonna say hi? Definitely not. She hates my guts. That's true love for you. Two dates in one day? You're a madman. Oh, no! You heard that, Rydell? There has to be only two people at a time to maintain balance. Hey. Oh, well. Rydell, let's go. Mark, you'll have to go with someone else. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. Whoa, my shadow's on the guy behind me. <laughs> Uh, hey, Nicole. Oh, Mark. Funny running into you here. Wish I could say the same. I wanted to apologize again for... Save it. You need a Ferris wheel partner. <laughs> I said that line weird. You need a Ferris wheel partner? Oh, I, uh... Turns out I need one, too. Yeah! Ferris wheel date. What the hell do I say? How do I start? How do I even... I shouldn't have freaked out on you that day. I shouldn't have freaked out on you that day. Huh? No, I should be apologizing. I shouldn't have touched your stuff without your permission. That's true. And it was also right after I destroyed your poster. Also true. I really am sorry. I still shouldn't have yelled at you like that. It's just, that piece. How did you, you know... I learned it from my mom. But how? It's an insane coincidence, I know. I think Mom heard you play it at a recital. A long time ago. Whoa. That is an insane coincidence indeed. Right? Your parents told me. About you writing it? I mean, I... I hope that's okay. Yeah. That's so weird. It must mean something to you. For you to remember it so well. Well, I don't remember all of it. It's all hazy now. But just with the parts I remember. Even if it's not complete. It is a beautiful piece. And I could tell. It really struck a chord with my mom. I'm glad she likes it. She loves it. Loved it. She loved it. What do you mean? Can I tell you something? Something kind of heavy? My mom. She's gone. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mark. He told that... <laughs> he told that really dark story about his mom with the cat ears on. That's incredible. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mark. It's okay. That must be why you play the piano. I think so. It's why I try. I want to feel close to her. Does it work? I don't know. But then maybe that's not the point. Sorry. Do you think it's stupid? No, no, I don't think it's stupid. That piece, the piano, they mean a lot to me too. Why did you stop playing then? I mean, only if you want to talk about it. It's complicated. I guess I quit for the same reason you started. What do you mean? It is hard, losing someone. My best friend left with no explanation. He was my biggest supporter when it came to the piano. But that was a long time ago. My family and I are, are really trying to start over this year. Oh, of course. Right. The earthquake. It hit our hometown pretty hard. We had no choice. That must have been really hard. It was. There's a lot. There's a lot I wish I could still do back home. But it's alright. We're better now, at least. Safer. Getting a fresh start in Liamson and all. Too bad. It's so funny when games give you the option to just be a dick to people. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> well, welcome to Liamson. It's not much, but it's home. 
DJs and Ferris wheels on all souls, huh? Huh, you remembered. Yeah, totally a thing here. Obviously, I love sucking lemons. What? Wait, what? I knew it. It was you, wasn't it? How did you... Wait. Hannah... <laughs> Hannah B-I-I-14? Hannah B-14? In the flesh. What? You stole my win. You stole my win. I spent days grinding for that fight. Oh, that was... That was that online fight that I had in the video game, where I picked up right after the first timeline ended, where I thought it was New Game Plus, like, way at the beginning of this. I mean, like, the scene right after we saw the end credits, where I was in that fighting game. That's how we found each other's gamer tag from that. <laughs> I spent days grinding from that fight. I spent days grinding for that fight. Look, it's a hard game, okay? You have to take all the wins you can get. How dare you? Besides, you killed me right after. So we're probably even. Did you forget you ruined my poster? And touched my stuff? Okay, but you were blocking the way. And you blew up at me. Hmm, how about we start over? Hi, I'm Nicole Loxamina. Totally nice new girl, no anger issues. Won't steal your league of masher wins. <laughs> oh, okay, hi Nicole. I'm Mark Borgia. Cool dude with very good manners. And epic gaming skills. Hey Mark. Yeah? I think I have an idea. I'd like to help you learn the piano. Alright. Yeah, we're fast track. Yeah, we're not even at the piano club yet. And she off she offered to help. We di we didn't have to like we didn't have to like beg her. <laughs> we didn't have to beg her to be our mentor like last time. This is great. Off to a great start here. <laughs> I'd like to help you learn the piano. What? You heard me. Why? Because I know how you feel. Huh. I mean... So tell me. Are you in? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. So I guess in return, can I show you around? I know there's one place I think you'll like. Is it better than the Ferris wheel? You bet. Please don't be the haunted... Fuck! <laughs> I was just gonna say, please don't be the haunted house. <laughs> Why are we dressing up in a horror house? Horror house. Aren't we supposed to just come in? Nope. I got the secret promo. Where you can be one of the ghosts and scare the shit out of people. It's on me, don't worry. Wow. I've never heard of that. Is that a Liamson thing too? Uh, not really. So what are we waiting for? How about we play a little game? Whoever scares the most people out of here wins. You didn't tell me we were going to compete. Don't you want to? I don't. Because this is such an easy game for me. Heh, <laughs> you'll take those words back. Better keep count. You wish. Ah, here we go. We gotta, we gotta scare these people, gotta scare these people. Hey, we gotta scare these people, let's go. Oh, damn. We gotta scare these people, scare these people, hey. Gotta scare these people. Gotta scare these people all. Gotta scare these people off. Gotta scare these people. Oh. Gotta scare these people. Oh. Yeah, I might lose this. Okay, alright, alright. Here we go. We're getting there. Scaring people. Oh. Scaring people off in the business. Scaring people off is our business. Oh. No. Dude. Don't have a truck run us over. You're seriously gonna do that? You're sick. You're sick for that. <laughs> oh, I can't. How have you only scared three people, Nicole? No! No, 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 no. Oh, I hate that. That. The halluc- the, the hallu- the hallucinations are getting out of control. <laughs> I keep seeing that truck. I keep seeing that truck. Freaks me out. 
Well, well, well. Excuse my hubris, but I don't think I even need to ask for your count. Mark, hey. Mark? <laughs> Are you okay? I, I just remembered something awful. What was it? Do you want to talk about it? I... I don't... No, I'm... Hey, it's alright. You're okay. You're safe. Oh! <laughs> You're here. I can't with the cute... Their little sprites are so cute. I can't. You're here. You're okay. Let's get out of this haunted house, maybe. Almost home. Everything seems fine now. I hope it stays that way. Alapap? End is near. Huh? No new gossip in town. Maybe I should send a photo of the cats to Nicole. What are they doing here? Mr. Suave finally home from two dates. Hey guys, sorry I left you and- Oh, don't even say anything. Your success is our success. We want to hear all about your date. That's why we're here. Uh, actually I should be heading home. It's pretty late. You came all this way? Just wanted to make sure she gets here. Just wanted to make sure she gets here safe. You remember that basketball player? Ryan Soriano? Yeah, turns out he never showed up for his shift. Oh wow. I mean, maybe he just wasn't feeling well. Or slept through it, but you know. Is Ryan the is Ryan missing? Like uh like uh like Jenny was? I think her name was Jenny. In the last chapter of the previous timeline, there was a girl who was like missing. Cause like <laughs> the psychic rain got her. <laughs> I wonder if Ryan has vanished from existence. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. He probably just went somewhere and didn't let didn't let anyone know. He probably just went somewhere and didn't let anyone know. Still, that's a little creepy. Yeah. So you two better be careful, okay? Yes, Mom. You going home alone? Yeah, but don't worry about me. I'll be careful. You done picking photos, Kath? Hey, let me see. Nuh-uh. These aren't for your eyes, mister. Don't tell me it's another booger photo. Or worse. <laughs> well, I want to sleep. Just give, give the others back to me at school, okay? You got it, boss. You okay, man? You're looking a little pale. Yeah. I got a little woozy at the fair. What? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay now. Just had to sit a bit. Maybe you were woozy. With love. Shut it. <laughs> okay. You two better get some sleep, you hear me? Yes, Mom. Good night, kids. <laughs> what about you? Nah, not really feeling tired yet. Do you mind me staying a little? Anything to avoid going home, right? <laughs> So, tell me everything. I can't believe you invited Louise to the cafe. I have to step up my game. For the last time, I didn't invite her. She just happened to be there. Rydell said you talked a lot, though. We did. But it wasn't romantic or anything, or whatever. It wasn't romantic or whatever. I just apologized to her again. For, like, everything ever. Uh-huh. And Nicole? What about her? That was different. Ah, uh, yep. Don't hide it, man. You're welcome, by the way. I knew that Ferris wheel ride would sweep her off her feet. The lights. The privacy. The threat of imminent death. Romantic. <laughs> I don't know, Kath. There's been some things going on. Let me guess. You hadn't eaten yet, right? Yeah, I'll make something for us. Do you need any help? Nah, I got it. Hmm. Something's going on. Oh, man. Hey, Mark. Just wanted to check in on you. You feeling any better? Just feeling slightly off. But definitely better. Please get more rest. I will. 
Thanks for looking out, Nicole. Of course. I can't have my student passing out on me. I almost wish we had more time at the fair. I know, sorry, things got weird. Don't worry about it. I've been feeling a little lightheaded recently, too. Maybe it's the heat. Maybe, but don't worry. There's plenty more time to defeat you at Mashers again. Haha, <laughs> who's that? Oh, uh, Nicole? So that's what's been going on. So that's what's been going on, Mr. Suave. Yeah, yeah. Stand there and wait for your food. <laughs> so interesting how it's the same basic events as last time, but everything is different. Hey, I thought we left that in the past. I may forgive, but I don't forget. Fine. See if I ever help you with the piano. Whoa, whoa, let's not get hasty. Maybe I can forget after all. That's what I thought. Eh. Look at you. Smiling at your phone like a doofus. <laughs> Nicole told me she'd help me with the piano. The piano? Yeah, she and I. It's weird. There's this piece and actually... Can I just show you? Lead the way. You know, aside from the... Aside from the violent truck hallucinations, this seems like a better timeline. I shouldn't say that. It's just different. <laughs> Any second now, Mr. Loverboy? Hey, not bad. It's a piece she wrote. As a kid. Whoa. And you learned it already? No, I actually heard it from my mom. What? How? It's crazy, but... We think she must have heard it at a recital. When Nicole was younger. Small world, huh? Whoa. That's destiny for you. I knew you were star-crossed lovers. The moment you crashed into her. Uh, a little more practice. And that should be great. Yeah, haha. <laughs> I'm hoping Nicole can help with that. We're joining the school club, too. Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. Uh, I'm not sure it'll do anything. But I want to try. We want to try. Does it have to do anything? Does it have to do anything? I want it to. I don't know. I, I want it to mean something. I want us to help each other, I guess. I want to be heard. Heard? <laughs> like, understood. Does that make any sense? Is this about... My mom? It's, it's about my mom. <laughs> I see. I think I know what you mean, Mark. But so much about this has been really strange. You mean like that crazy coincidence? I mean, it's more than that. Haven't you felt that something's been off? Like Rydell said? Well, a little bit. Sometimes I do get really weird deja vu. Deja vu. Wait, do you smell that? It's like a little bit burnt. Oh, the rice should be ready now. Forgot about that. <laughs> Mom said she made her sizzage for dinner. She made it again. I'm having sardines and I'm not complaining. <laughs> Do you feel better after eating? <laughs> Gotta say that one. <laughs> I'd feel better if I were eating with you. Your mom's sizzage is amazing, I mean. It'd get my mind off of how strange things have been. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that stings. 
Tell me about it. I knew moving would be hard, but things are even weirder than I thought. Well, it's been weird for me, too. So I guess it's not Liamson. Haha, <laughs> get some rest, student. I don't want to keep you up. You get some rest too, Sensei. Man, I hate sardines. Even with gold flakes. I'll give you another star for effort. Hey, Kath? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you seen, like, a truck? This... This is gonna get... This is gonna get serious. Have you seen, like, a truck on a highway? Um... I'm sure I've seen many highway trucks in my life. Yeah. Sorry, stupid question. <laughs> Why do you ask? It's like I keep forgetting something. I'm trying to remember, but I don't know what it is. You sure you're okay, man? It hasn't been just us, either. Nicole feels it, too. Even Louise said it. That something's off. Louise? Yeah. Do you ever think about the ruling? Do I think about the cataclysmic event that almost ended humanity as we know it? That happened a year ago? Yeah. Kinda hard not to. My parents talk about it all the time. Your parents? Yeah. According to them, it was an omen from God or something. Repent or the earth will swallow us whole. That kind of shtick. Really? Yeah. Do you think that... Do you think that? Nah. I mean... Sure, it was weird. But there's gotta be more efficient ways to send a warning, you know? Eh. I guess. Why the sudden interest, anyway? Well, Louise mentioned something earlier. I don't know. Well, if it makes you feel any better. We're just a bunch of kids. It's not like the world ending was our fault. Screenshotting for posterity. <laughs> we're, go we're gonna end up causing the ruling in the first place, aren't we? It's, go it's going to be the player that causes that. <laughs> That's my prediction. They knew what they were doing when they made Kathy say that. They knew, th they, knew they were putting a thought in the player's head. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Mark. Let's get your mind off of this. And I know just how to do that. It's time to race. You sure seem excited to beat my slow ass again. Well, duh. Let's see if you've gotten any better. Okay, this time I probably lose the race, right? This time I probably lose the race. Here I come. Watch out. Man, I can't believe you still suck. <laughs> After all this time. Hey, come on. I'm sure I can beat you at least once. Yeah, yeah, seven matches in. I can keep this up all night for sure. We'll see about that. But hey, I'm glad you're having fun. Ha, huh. losing your touch, are you? One. Oh, he still wins. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I knew it. I love that animation of him getting up. <laughs> Kathy's tired. <laughs> uh, I'm really that bad. Now I get to see what you've been hiding from me. Oh. Balloon Massacre 2014. Frog. Oh. <laughs> nice. 
On second thought, I'll let her keep this. Hey. Kath. Hey. Kath. It's time to go home. Jaggy's here. With flowers. With chocolates. With his dad. He'll drive you home. Kath. <laughs> Guess we'll do this the hard way. Did she leave these here? Uh, what, ha what happened with Kath? Where did she go? <laughs> Nice picks. <laughs> this will be quite the exercise. Yeah, I thought I was going to pick her up. You're not pretending, right? Don't worry, Mark. And legs. This won't be for the entire trip. She'll wake up soon. You'll wake up soon. Did I just carry Kathy all the way to her house? I'm assuming that's that's what happened. All right, we're at the piano club. We'll pick we'll pick up at the piano club next time on Until Then.